All right, everyone. So quick two minute short on this place called Bletchley Park, somewhere I've been to. It's in England. And as I call it here, a secret that saved the world. What's all this about? Well, during World War II, of course, the Germans had what was very well known as the Enigma machine. It was their machine that they used to send codes to one another that was basically impossible to break by all traditional methods. This image you see here is not of the Enigma machine, actually. I'll explain this image in a moment. Uh, but you can see the number of combinations it adds, something like 150 million million combinations. It's it's crazy number. And so what they decided to do is call like the really smart people around. The most famous guy was a man named Alan Turing, but there was many others as well. And they met at Bletchley Park, that image I just showed you before. And what they did is came up with this new way to break the Enigma code by developing what you see here, this computer. Um, and this was highly secret. No one was allowed to talk about what they were doing there. Even after the war, everyone had to agree to what's called the Official Secrets Act. And you know, it was decades after the war till anybody was even allowed to talk about what they did in Bletchley Park. Why is it important? Well, it helped dramatically shorten the war. Many people think by a couple years, two, three years. In one particular area, were the U-boats, the German Wolf Pack, as they were called. And I have a lecture on the Battle of the Atlantic, uh, which is really interesting, of course, because knowing being able to break the codes allowed the Allies to know where the Wolf Pack were going, those are the name of the G German U-boats, how to get around them. And without winning the Battle of the Atlantic, we never would have been able to launch the D-Day invasion. Um, and so all of this is connected. So really cool, I'll add some links. Um, in the description, at least one or two links in the description of we, to get more information, to cite directly to Bletchley Park. Um, and there was also a movie called Imitation Game uh, that was done a few years back. That's another movie if you like Hollywood movie stuff. Uh, you know, you could another way to learn about it a bit, but I'll definitely put some links there for you. All right, so I hope you found that interesting. Just kind of another little cool World War II story. Uh, that's it. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.